Hey guys, welcome back to the Mountain Slow channel. So in the last video, we talked about the user check-in and what we needed to do and how we needed to build the van in order to be able to pass that. You would have noticed me unboxing a couple of items in preparation for today's project. So today I'm going to build an extractor fan system for the side window. It's going to be a basic build. Um, the idea is I'm going to get a bit of plywood, build a little frame, insert the two USB fans inside, running off the solar USB battery. All right, so I've pre-cut out my plywood there to fit inside the window. And um, these are the USB fans that I ordered off Amazon. Um, yeah, they were just a cheap one, like 2000 yen. But it had some good reviews, so I'm sure other van lifers have bought these ones in the past. Uh, now I just got to decide how I want to have the layout here. So I'm thinking two of the fans on top. Um, this is the solar battery that I, I bought. Um, the idea is this will be facing out. It's got all the USB connections here and some ports here. I'll attach the switch here. This just controls the speed of the fan. And then this will plug in to here. So I'll try and set it up something like that. Make it nice and clean looking. So we want to put this side here facing inside the van. First time using this drill bit. Yeah, it worked pretty well. Obviously need to sand and smooth the edges a little bit, but got a nice perfect circle. So the idea with the fan, they've already got these vent guards on them here. Um, so this one I screwed off to, to test it out. What I think I'll do is I'll unscrew these, put it into the wood, and then on the other side, the plan is screw back into the fan, into the pre-existing holes. Oh yeah. One mistake I just made that I didn't really take into consideration was the screws that come with the fan where the guards are attached. So they're a little bit too small for it to pass through the plywood and then into the fan. So I need to come up with a solution there. Um, hopefully I've got a couple of screws lying around to fix the problem. Ah, damn, don't have anything here. Looks like I'm gonna have to 
head on down to the local hardware store. Alright, well that's it, pretty much done. I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut this little rectangle out just yet. Um, the idea was to cut that out so I've got access to the solar when it's, it can charge like that through the window. But I'm guessing my idea at the moment, uh, winter's coming up, I might keep that closed off um, and use this while I'm cooking inside the van or use it when I'm sleeping to keep it on. Um, and then I can just take the battery out and put it in the sun throughout the day when I'm when I'm up snowboarding I'm gonna keep it closed for now and see how it works. Yeah, so the next thing to do is take it all apart um, Give it a wee paint and go and put it inside the van All right, well, I'm not the best painter in the world, but yeah, let's give it a wee spray of black paint simple idea two fans made a little frame for the battery to be in there plugged into the USB. Now can I just see if it fits in the van? So there you go, fits nice and flush. Uh, it's gonna help a lot in the winter. It gets a little bit cold on the snowboard trips, so I'm gonna make a little cooking area inside here. So it's good just to have some airflow and some circulation. Uh, one of the things I was unboxing earlier on in the video was I bought this. This is a CO2 reader. So it's pretty basic. It's got the CO2 levels here, and this is the temperature and then humidity. If you guys want to follow along for the snowboard trip this coming winter, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I like this video if, if you enjoyed it. Um, comment below if you've got any questions of that. Uh, see you guys in the next episode.